Ain't going nowhere without this. Where would you mug spouts even be without me? What is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. Because you didn't. I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beef wet brother of yours. Freyr... ...is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scrote too. I can feel the pool of the Binding Curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a moonful hind shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimble Winter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. Hey, how's about a riddle to lighten the mood? What runs with no legs? Easy, I know. You'll have to try harder than that, Brock. Just you wait, smart guy. One more for the tree. Come on, let's find a way forward. Mm, that's gonna need more magic than we got, Sonic. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Thimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much. Falcon! <sighs> Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel, and it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. That's Thimble Winter for you. Do not. Watch where you're going. The plants are extra aggressive in this humidity. <laughs> Recognize this market. Villages would meet and trade here. Why'd they never rebuild? That looks interesting. <laughs> Don't that 
get the old juices flowing. I forgot how much I like scrapping dirty. Get that up ahead. Huh? Where has everyone gone, I wonder? They must have withdrawn hidden themselves out in the wilds and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again as soon as I was exiled? A market, huh? Looks like they sure left behind a lot of goodies. Shame to let them collect dust. That's one way of looking at it. Loot your missing, if and you want to hunt around. <laughs> your brother stirring up an awful scene. Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I understand plenty. Ah! Hey! The plan, yeah! my 
Contact grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, Dwarf. Listen, I know how bad it can get with one's own kin. Sindri and I were on the out so long it was like not having a brother at all. Now nah, I take some of the fall for that on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. Any of this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time had passed. He went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. His family, you gotta keep them close, or they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is, you happen to find yourself talking to your brother. Maybe the worst words said between you don't have to be the last one said. Enough! When the day comes to face Freya again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. Do you understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I get it. Hope yours clears up quicker than mine. Touching story, that was. By me. You wish. What did Odin do to drive everyone away? What weapons did he make the dwarves build him? How much was just Mjolnir? Can one man do this much damage? Depends on the weapon. And the man. <laughs> What'd you find? Sounds shiny. Yeah. This river, it used to be filled yeah. with boats and people visiting from different villages. I've never seen it so empty. What is this? Not now, brother. We've got company. One of them hairy-ass bastards! Listen! You just made the last mistake of your life! Let's go! Nasty hit! You all right, brother? Got another one joining the party! Look alive! You can't do anything with that yet, it seems. Hold up! If 
Then you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah. All yours. <laughs> your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. Come on up! Bet you're glad old Brock's around to save your skin. Uh-oh. Shit! What? We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. God to do his dirty work. Thor too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. <laughs> no, you're no brother of mine. He sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me! I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can, I will. Now let them pass. So, you serve my sister. Oh. Oh. Don't we all? Put him down. What's with leaving me hanging like that? Trusty hag. Oh, can it, Blobber? Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Fair. <laughs> We fixed it so you can come and go between the realms whenever you please. You're very welcome. God, this here's my family, and I mean much to you, but I mean plenty to me. It does too mean something to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made up with my clunker head brother. Five million moon beans. I didn't realize a hog brother for back and business. We're even cohabitating like a proper family. So don't tell me! Oh, okay. Well, then you can help me at the forge while you spill everything. 
Now, Brock, ain't you gonna introduce me to this tall glass of milk you got for a bodyguard? Of course I'm gonna. That's Kratos. Oh, you can call him whatever pops into your head. Kratos, Lunda. We go back. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. That'll keep your bits in all the right places. What? You just came to stare? We wish this camp kept secret. Understood? I will not compromise it. No, we wouldn't dare. Good. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing Aesir in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That... That is a friendly face. Eh? His name is Kratos, and no. The Aesir on Vanaheim. Yeah, we've been occupied since... Yeah, I lost count. What is your plan? We're still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, carefully you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Oh, you're looking at it. What, you five? Against Odin's army? Well, six, if you count the dog. Oh, fuck me. Yep. Do you know their numbers? Oh, yeah, numbers, movements, outposts. We have good intel. Uh, I see. Well, let's have a look at the map then. Now that the distractions are out of the way. I have words if you would hear them. Speak then. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors. So by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me. But I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his- No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about.
An ancient. wonder I've had such difficulty killing you. I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own. Thanks. Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family. My mess. I know Baldur wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes. I do. There was another. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope. What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. Thank <laughs> you. 
We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. All those times I found you, why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. Their song makes their allies vulnerable. They will 
will not let you pass unless you destroy them all. I used to play hide and seek with Freya in the cross. We'd spend afternoons stealing honeybird from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back here? And be reminded of all this. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. You can get through over here! <laughs> I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. Yeah! <laughs> 
it wasn't enough what Odin did to me. He's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agoji. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. These plants behave similarly to the scorn poles we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate will be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. No! Trace would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. Disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time... Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Huh. Well done, Jack. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and finish it. Oh. 
What about the crane? Can you turn it somehow? Use your blades to swing the torch to the other side. Anyone alive be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't. After the price I've paid to anyone. Look around you, Greta. See what happens when you don't fight a true evil. That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. Oh, that's it! 
Ragnarok will not bring back what you have lost any more than killing me. I am reaching my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things?
not tell me to kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. Let's go. It's just past those doors up ahead. There. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgar. What is this place? My home. I was born here. Hold on. Something's not right. Opinbera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Nico! It belongs to Odin? No. It protects Yggdrasil's roots wherever they are. Bastard was counting on it. Good! Keep at it! Don't just stand there! Move! I need to get to those roots! You have its attention now! Don't lose it! Oh! <laughs> 
free! And Vanahar, yes. But there are more rules. She will guard them with her life.
going back in! We will not let it! Go! I have to break his hold on me, and you are in the way! Last done. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? I don't think I can do either. There's still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. Not for that. I do not regret saving your life. And never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. <laughs> 